It's great to have you here to join us today, and we want to especially welcome those who are here for this occasion, the baptism. Uh, baptism is a, a wonderful moment of testimony. It's a time when we get to hear what God has done. God has changed lives, and God makes a difference. The blood of Jesus Christ has saved us and we want to celebrate that we want to share that with the world and God in in uh, sending his son here to the earth which is what we celebrate with the advent is the sending of the son Jesus uh, when God sent his son he also said I, I want to uh, let the world know what my son is doing in the world and here's how I want you to do it I want you to go through this celebration of baptism and let that be the time when people share their their faith with the world uh, it's real easy to have a private faith and you hear a lot of people talk about that well I keep my faith private uh, God never intended for anybody to keep their faith private if somebody's keeping their faith private, it's because of them. It's not because of God. It's not because God wants it that way. It's because they want to keep it that way. God wants us to share our faith. And he chose baptism as his way of sharing faith with the world. And so uh, we're going to do that today. And I've asked, uh, Laura actually asked me for this day to uh, have baptism. Uh, it was a special time for her on the holiday weekend to have her family here and, and friends. And so we're grateful that they have come to join us today. And uh, Laura, you want to share with us how it is that, that you came to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior? Uh, yeah, about 29 years ago, uh, I was pregnant from my youngest son, Guy. And um, I had a lot of stuff going on in my life. And um, I got saved in a truck with my aunt. Um, but right before that, my oldest daughter, Gracie, would go to church. And um, she, she's the one who encouraged me to go to church. She was about five or six. She's back there. <laughs> oh, my grandbaby. And um, I didn't want to go to church because I grew up in East L.A. And all the churches there at that time were Pentecostal and ex-cons and things like that and I didn't want to be there in a church like that I didn't know that Christianity had different denominations so when I went to church with my daughter she begged me to go it was a very conservative Christian church um, and it was perfect for me to go because I had a lot of stuff going on that I didn't I never really got out of my system uh, growing up my dad and mom got divorced when I was four uh, my mom was a heroin addict and she died in prison my dad was uh, he was a good father but he did he did drink a lot and he got killed by a drive-by when I was 14 and my whole family my brothers and sisters we just got involved with gangs and drugs and I was in juvenile hall and I was very fortunate to get busted because in there um, that's when I learned about um, the New Testament and I was actually I was very angry with God I didn't believe in him I cursed him and everything but I also got counseling there and my counselor helped me to understand the anger that I was going through I still didn't understand it until I actually got saved and I had already had kids out of wedlock and I got married and um, my ex-husband was there for me for everything you know we had a rocky marriage but at, through everything the Lord just all the other trials he just helped me to understand that you can still have joy and I've I can't say that it's been a perfect life for 30 years but I know that I don't have the same confusion I know that I can call my God uh, I've had a lot of trials some of you who know me that I was taking care of my disabled sister for six years who suffered tremendously but she had a strong faith in the end. It took her to suffering to find Jesus. And I thank God that he let me al allowed me to share that with her. And um, that was hard. But the hardest trial of my life, I mean, I, my dad got killed. My brothers got killed. My, my sister died. A lot of stuff happened. But the biggest trial of my life 
is, was my oldest son now battling cancer, and a cancer that's rare and hardly anybody survives, and God has taken him through it so far, and you wouldn't even know he has cancer if you look at him only because he doesn't have hair. But I have a strong faith, and I thank God that the cancer that he had, most people, they get it when they're kids. They're actually, they're born with it, and he's 34, so he's given me 34 years of that, of life with that wonderful young man, and I, I'm grateful, and I just want to show God that I'm grateful. Not just you guys, but I want to show God, because I've tried to get baptized two times before, and stuff happened, drama happened, and it didn't happen for me. But then when I stumbled across this church by another one of my kids, my kid Jesse, he's the one who told me about this church. I, 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 I feel comfortable, and I, I feel like God wants me to get baptized now in front of people that don't know me, and then the people that know me so well. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Laura. She was uh, sharing with me that even this morning, God, it seemed like there was a battle uh, trying to keep this from happening. But uh, you've learned how to uh, give your battles over to the Lord, it sounds like. That, it's, hard uh, it's hard. It's not that easy. Uh, some people think that, oh, you've been saved, you know scripture, or you go to church, or you participate in serving at the church, that you're like so righteous. You know, my favorite scripture is your righteousness is a filthy rag it's hard you have to keep your faith and you even get hurt and question God but he still takes care of you like I know because he's taking care of me and my family and I have wonderful kids that thank you Jesus who love me they love me unconditionally uh, I just I want to encourage everybody to just Stay faithful in, in your belief in God. Just know that he's, he has you in your hands no matter what you're going through. Even when you doubt him, he's still holding you. Amen. Amen. That's a great word. You shared how uh, you accepted Christ. And it was uh, because of your daughter that you started looking. And it was actually your aunt uh, driving down the road in a truck that uh, was the moment when you accepted Jesus as your Savior. Awesome. Laura, you have given testimony today of your faith in God, how you accepted Jesus as your Savior and, and made Him Lord of your life. Now based on that testimony, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray together. Thank you for that word, Lord. Uh, we thank you for uh, Laura's testimony today. We thank you for those who have come to hear it. We thank you most of all for Jesus Christ, who is our Savior and, and who has made the difference in our lives. We thank you, Lord, that uh, we really can trust you and step out in faith and that you will be with us, just like Laura said. I want to pray now as we continue on in our worship time, Lord, let your Holy Spirit come and fill our lives, open our hearts, make us ready for the word that you want to share with us today, and make us ready to, to do as Laura did, to stand up for their God, and let the world know this is real, and you are real, and uh, we're, we live our life for you, in Jesus' name, amen.